your live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. There's that powerful and dangerous hurricane now just uh, to the north. Uh, this is uh, Dominican Republic. There's Haiti still moving west northwest. Here's Miami and there's Jacksonville, Florida to give you some idea. A close up of just a well defined perfect hurricane meteorologically speaking obviously it's an extremely dangerous hurricane it's about 65 miles to the north this is the northwestern uh, shore of the Dominican Republic and now it is actually even though the winds have come down to 175 miles per hour which is still extremely dangerous 175 it was 185 yesterday it's still a strong category 5 hurricane but what's happening is the wind field is actually expanding especially for the hurricane and when you go from the center outward in all directions uh, yesterday it was only out about 60 miles now it's 70 miles per hour, or 70 miles anywhere out from the center and you'll have hurricane force winds in this red uh, in the yellow, if you go at about 185 miles in all directions out of the center itself, you have tropical storm force winds. So already tropical storm force winds are hitting the Dominican Republic and also northern and central Haiti, even though the storm is well off to the north. And when you have 175 mile per hour sustained winds with gusts over 200, you're going to generate some incredible waves. Look at this close to the center and the eye wall itself. 45 foot waves being generated right now heading toward the Turks and the Caicos Islands and then you, you can see winds and look at these waves even well out you still have about 10 15 foot waves even about 60 70 miles away from the center itself 175 mile per hour winds moving west northwest here are all the watches and warnings and for the first time this morning as expected the National Hurricane Center issued a hurricane watch for southern Florida it does include Fort Lauderdale Miami the Florida Keys and all the way back into around Naples Florida so the track is still west northwest but that big ridge of high pressure in the central Atlantic which is steering this hurricane continues to stay strong and that's why I think the European model is pushing the track even farther to the west and then it turns north. This is bad news for Florida because now the track is shifted to the west which means it's going to the peninsula of Florida is going to go right through this hurricane is going to go right through the peninsula of Florida which means it'll weaken the winds to a category one in southeastern Georgia so instead of making landfall on the coast now this could change every day we're still four or five days out but this is the worst case scenario for us if it goes and tracks into northeastern Georgia as a tropical storm we'll get that incredible upslope we could see five to ten plus inches of rain major flooding possible isolated tornadoes possible for us uh, wind damage which also could mean uh, power outages that's if this track holds true let's hope it moves farther to the east of the track moves east of us then we're on the west side of it which is better news for us but look at this all the computer models are now starting to track a little bit farther to the west instead of to the east now the GFS the American model still hasn't moving up the eastern seaboard of Florida and then still making track and landfall around Savannah then pushing it off to the north over Augusta but look how strong our winds are as you can see as we go through the early part of next week the European model which the Hurricane Center really likes farther west moving right through the peninsula of Florida and then tracking up to around south of Atlanta with powerful winds for us damaging winds for us of course with the flooding and everything temperatures outside right now it's just beautiful forecast for tonight clear skies nice and cool overnight low 56 degrees 40s in the mountains four day plus looks like this so beautiful weather all the way through the weekend then we get ready for Irma Monday and Tuesday now